bullhorn now. The people of the planet are free. Humans, since the beginning of civilization, have struggled against tyranny. We are here with a new declaration of independence, a declaration of free people on the planet Earth, resisting your tyranny. We do not want your American Union. We do not want your European Union. We, we wish to live in peace and be free, just as you wish to have your secret meetings and be left alone. We are here at great danger and great expense, and with great courage, to stand up against your enormous power. We know you are ruthless. We know you are evil. We respect your dark power. But you should know that as you attempt to set up your world government, you're facing greater and greater problems. Your agenda is faltering. Free humans everywhere know what you're doing. The people have woken up to what you're doing. You're attempting to shut down the internet and the free press. You are failing. The cat is out of the bag. The truth of your world government has now been exposed. We will expose the new world order. We will expose the global crime syndicate to David Rockefeller, to the Rothschild representatives here, to the Queen of the Netherlands, to all of you, we tell you, you are not our queens, you are not our kings, you are not our gods, we do not belong to you, we are not your slaves, we stand as free humans have stood since the beginning of time against the strong men, against the thugs, against the bullies. We are here telling you that we will resist the new world order, we will defeat your world government, we will defeat world taxation. We will defeat your control grid. God is on our side. And I stand before the creator of the universe. And I ask the creator of the universe, as our founding fathers did in 1776, to leave God and direct us and to give us the power and the foresight and the understanding and the will to stand against your entire agenda, including your final plan of world population reduction of 80% that Henry Kissinger penned in 1973. We stand here as free human beings that love our families, that want to control our own destinies. I know that you have the excuses that you claim you have to have world government to stop world war, but in truth, Architects of World War II are sitting in your building right now, like Queen Beatrix, her late husband, SS officer. We are here simply trying to defend liberty. You have threatened us. You have threatened our countries. You have threatened our sovereignty. You have threatened our livelihoods. Your world government and your own statements and your own policy reports are detrimental to the average man, woman, and child. You have more power and more money than you could ever spend. You own the central banks that print the money. Why then do you continue to try to dehumanize us? Why do you put mercury in the vaccines, stannous sodium fluoride in the water? Why? Why do you put cancer viruses in the vaccines? Why have you used depleted uranium now in four separate nations? The equivalent of 44,000 A-bombs of uranium now in the atmosphere. Why are you doing this? Why are you so dark? Why are you so destructive? Why are you destroying your own future? You're arrogant. You have the sickness that elites have had throughout history in their literal and, in some cases, figurative ivory towers. You believe that you're invincible. You are your own greatest enemy. You are an enemy of humanity and the human experience and everything that we are and everything that we could be. You are threatened by the dynamic human free spirit. You are monopoly men. You monopolize the economic system. You try to monopolize the spiritual systems because you're threatened by independent middle classes developing their own industries that you believe will threaten your monopoly of control and power. We here, the free peoples of Earth, stand against you and your wickedness. The numbers are growing every day. Millions of people every day wake up to what you're doing. They understand your program of control and they will resist it. Again, we implore the creator of the universe to aid us. We pledge our lives, our bodies, our sacred honor, our treasure, all on the line against you, the neo-fascist corporate royalty. We tell you now that your abuse must end. We tell you now, listen to the voices inside Bilderberg that understand the truth. We tell you now that we know there's dissenting voices in your ranks who say that what you're doing is dangerous. You're hurtling the world towards World War IV, as you call it. We ask you to 
reconsider your wickedness and your evil. You are being led by a very dark force. You have been manipulated and deceived yourselves. You know at the end of your days now, many of you, that all the evil and all the power has not filled you. No matter how many wars and how much evil and wickedness you engage in, you feel more and more hollow every day. Let me tell you now that I have no fear of you because I've already lived a wonderful life and I've lived for what's good and what's decent and what's beautiful and I believe in the human spirit. My life is overflowing. I am so incredibly happy. I am empowered. I am empowered by the life force. I am empowered by creativity and goodness and the light. You are filled with the black pits of hell. You are filled with darkness and it will never quench your thirst. Some of you can turn back. I remember interviewing Charlotte Isserby, whose father was a member of Skull and Bones in Bohemian Grove, and as he lay on his deathbed dying of cancer, that elite member, that elite member that traveled in your highest circles, repented of what he'd done and cried his guts out. And I believe that man will be in heaven. He won't be visiting where some of you are going in the depths of Hades. Amen. Woo! Yeah! yeah. yeah. The elite of the world, and that's you, have been waging war on the people, waging war on any free populations, attempting to create your world government, a monopoly of thought, a monopoly of science, a monopoly of finance. You are destroying this species. You are destroying our development. You are bad social engineers. You're like a lion who comes into the prime that comes into the pride and goes after the cubs because you're threatened of them rising. You're threatened by them. You seek to, to feed on your own species. You're an upper predator class that, that is trying to engineer us and dumb us down so we're more easily fed upon. You will and you are failing now. Your new world order will fall. Yeah. Humanity will defeat you. The answer to 1984 is 1776. The answer to your 1984 world is the world of 1776.